Welcome to another video for Algebra 1. Uh, we're dealing with 6.1 still. Uh, this is page seven, 372, number 4. The instructions for this particular problem are to tell whether the ordered pair is a solution of a linear system. So in number 4, we have an ordered pair 5 and 2. Okay, so that's our coordinate point. So if you were to graph, one of the first things that you want to do with these equations is that you want to turn them into your... Um, your y-intercept form, okay? So the 5 and the 2 are in a coordinate point, and that's referring to these two. Now, actually, with this particular set of problems, it says tell whether the ordered pair is a solution. There's a very easy way to do that. Since 5 and 2 are coordinate points, 5 is the x, 2 is the y, all I have to do is input, input those coordinate points into my equations and see if the equations still hold true, okay? So for example, my x is 5, so then I replace my x variable with the 5, and then my y's are all 2. Then at this point, I just do the algebra and see if the equation still hold true. So on the top, let me go back. On the top, you'll see I have 2 times 5 minus 3 times 2, so that's going to be 10 minus 6, and that in fact is 4, so this equation is true. So five, the coordinate point 5, 2 does hold true for the top equation. Now. Does it hold true for the second? And if it does, then that means that this point is a point that both of these equations have in common. So let's take a look. So 2 times 5 plus 8 times 2, uh, 10, 16. That, in fact, does not equal 11. So this point, this coordinate point, is not within the line, um, with, within this linear line at the bottom. So, in fact, 5, 2, the coordinate point 5, 2, is not a solution for this system of linear equations. Okay, it is not a solution. So let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look at both of these lines graphed. So here I have both of my equations graphed. And you'll notice that the coordinate point 5, 2 lies within one of my equations, but not within the other. So that means that 5, 2 is not a point that they both hold in common, so it is not a solution. It might be a solution for one equation, which I did find to be true, but for the second equation it doesn't because as you can see the blue line, my blue linear line does not have, uh, does not lie on the coordinate point 5, 2. Alright, so when we're referring to um, these points being solutions or not, that's in fact what we mean. We mean, does this point, is that a point that both of these lines have in common? And as you can see, in this case, it is not. So that means it is not a solution for both. And it has to be uh, a solution for both systems of equations, not just one. Okay, good luck in your study.